Hello, this is Dr. Neil Barnard speaking to you from Washington, D.C. I'm delighted to be part of this important conference. Today I'll be speaking about the power of nutrition for health. Good foods have the power to prevent serious diseases, but they also have the power to return us to health when disease has struck. I'd like to talk about all of these things today. To me, the page in nutrition really turned in 1990. That was the year that a young doctor named Dean Ornish looked to see not can we just prevent heart disease, but can we actually reverse this process in people who had existing heart disease? What he did is he wanted to see if we could make that ugly looking artery that you see at the bottom here, which is filled with atherosclerotic plaque and make it look more like that clean artery at the top. And the way he did this was not with drugs and not with surgery, but with a simple experimental program of lifestyle changes. First of all, a vegetarian diet. Now, why would one want to use a vegetarian diet for heart patients? Well, because animal products are the only source of animal fat and the only source of cholesterol for all practical purposes. And plant products are the only source of healthy fiber. So when a person follows a plant-based diet with no animal products at all, you're getting away from the cholesterol and animal fat. All right. He also asked everyone to take a half hour walk every day to manage stress through yoga or meditation and to avoid tobacco. And that was the whole program. No surgery, no medication changes. And the results were astounding. After a year, the average person's total cholesterol level had dropped 24%. Their bad cholesterol, LDL cholesterol, had dropped 37%. That's the kind of change that we expect from medications, but this was done with diet and lifestyle changes. The average person lost 10 kilograms, that's 22 pounds, but what really made headlines was everyone had an angiogram. That's a special x-ray of the heart, and it shows the tiny trickle of blood that gets through to the heart muscle. And it turned out that the arteries were actually opening up so much that you could see a measurable difference in 82% of patients in the first year. So let me show you what this actually looks like. This is the, the angiogram of a physician who had serious heart problems. He was at the Cleveland Clinic, and he had what's called a diseased distal left anterior descending artery. It should look nice and open, but as you can see, it's crinkly and narrowed. He could not have a stent, and he could not tolerate statin drugs that are usually used for cholesterol lowering. So instead, he started a low-fat vegan diet. When I say vegan, I mean a person who eats no animal products at all. And after 32 months, this is what his artery looked like. As you can see, the body has the capacity to heal.